hello everyone how to solve this nice radical problem so we have p minus 3 square root is equals to p and we solve this problem for all the values of p so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root so here uh, we move towards the solution of this problem i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now uh, here first we need to remove this square root sign from left hand side so in order to remove this square root sign we need to apply square root on we need to applying scaling on both of the sides so when we apply scaling on both of the sides it will become p minus 3 square root and its whole square is equals to p square and now you see here this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we obtain here uh, p minus 3 is equals to this will becomes p square so now we move uh, both of these two terms from left hand side to the right hand side and it will becomes this is p square and when we move this plus p to the right hand side it will becomes minus p and this is minus 3 when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes plus 3 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step you see here this is the quadratic equation and we know that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first one is a factorization method second one is completing square and the third one is by applying the quadratic formula but in so that we just use the quadratic formula to solve this problem for this we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b is equals to minus 1 and c is equals to 3 and we state the quadratic formula as p is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now here we need to substitute the values of a b and c here so we have the value of b is minus 1 plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 1 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 3 and it is divided by 2 times of a and our a is 1 so here we need more simplifications and it will become this is minus times minus becomes plus 1 and plus minus square root of minus 1 square equals to 1 and minus 4 times 3 becomes 12 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2. So here further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will becomes this is 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus 12 is equals to minus 11 square root and it is divided by 2 so here uh, we apply this square root sign separately on both of these values and it will becomes 1 plus minus this is square root of 11 into square root of minus 1 divided by 2 and here we know about that uh, the square root of negative term becomes here iota so we get this is 1 plus minus square root of 11 so square root of minus 1 becomes iota and it is divided by 2 so uh, here we have uh, we get uh, the two roots are uh, complex or imaginary roots so finally we uh, write here the two the two solutions of the given queen are uh, this is 1 plus square root of 11 iota divided by 2 this is the first root and p2 is equals to 1 minus square root of 11 iota and it is divided by 2 this is the second root of the given equation so uh, this is the final conclusion about the solution set of this problem and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos